Uh, hi, my loves, and happy Monday. I just got off a... Oh, is this recording? I need to wait. Okay, hold on. Okay, I think we're live now. <laughs> the new Facebook Live editor is like, give me a... Um, confusion okay so i think we're live happy monday how are you guys doing back from the weekend ready to reset i just got off a beautiful qa call with the ladies that purchased the templates this year so if you purchased the templates you weren't able to join us live check your inbox for a replay this afternoon i'll be sending that out but to those of you who did make the qa call i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart it never ceases to amaze me how strangers like complete strangers can get on a call not knowing knowing each other and can really share from their heart and get massive breakthrough in an hour. I am, I mean, in some ways I'm not surprised, but I'm always a little bit shocked and amazed, right? But I think that's what happens. Like when we show up and when we bring our heart, we get clarity through that connection, right? So often we feel like, you know, we're going to get clarity by like stewing in our brains, but like how it always happens is through vulnerability and putting ourselves out there. So if you're on the Q&A call today, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for really sharing. Like the reason that went so well is because you really put it out there and you really shared where you're feeling stuck with your visibility. So thank you. I wanted to share on this Facebook Live today, just kind of a theme that I was seeing on the QA call that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I think will be helpful as you guys are thinking about your visibility for the fall. But first, if you're joining me live, would you please say hey to me? I would love to chat with you. And if you're watching the replay, say hello to, let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm tuning in here from San Diego. We've had a little bit of a humidity streak, but it's easing up. So I am grateful. So grateful for that. Um, but I would love to say hey to you. So, so you feel free to say hi. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, and one important announcement too it is make sure if you have not yet joined the Visible Impact waitlist, make sure that you join that because it's the last day to join the waitlist because this afternoon is when I'm emailing all the waitlist peeps for Visible Impact to give you guys maybe a special rate on the program, maybe not. You're going to have to wait and find out. But if you're at all interested in Visible Impact or support from me when that starts up again in a month, make sure that you join the waitlist today because that email will be going out today and you only have a few days to get the Visible Impact waitlist price. So sign up for that while you're listening to me chat. But I wanted to talk about the theme today of how do you restart online getting visible if you felt invisible for a little while. And again, this was a theme that a few of the ladies brought up in the QA call. And I thought was so good because I think often we can be visible, but then because either we sign a lot of clients and we get busy behind the scenes, or maybe something happens in our life, or maybe... 2020 happens. <laughs> no big deal, but 2020 is kind of like a crazy year, right? So whatever it is for you, whether it's just the year or maybe something happened with a family member, right? There are reasons that we're not always consistent in our visibility online. And so I want to talk to you about this real thing that happens where we're invisible, but we need to snap back into it and get visible. And this is a very timely conversation because if you have an online business and you want to make money this fall, if you're launching something or selling something, like now is the time to do it. Now is the time to get visible, right? Because I really feel like from your visibility, from that place of giving value, it gets so much easier to sell. So I jotted down three things that I felt like were um, really, could be really helpful to you if you're in that position where you're feeling like, for whatever reason, I haven't been as visible and I'm trying to get the courage to get visible again, but I'm feeling a little blocked. I'm feeling a little stuck. If that's you, even if you're watching the replay, let me know. And I think sometimes even just saying it, like I noticed for a few women on the call that like we're in that same basket, like a few women had like a similar question. Um, even just saying it out loud, I think cleared part of the block. It sounds crazy, but I think sometimes just saying it and saying like, I'm feeling stuck, I'm feeling afraid, whatever it is for you can clear so much of it. So I really encourage you to just own it and say, I'm feeling stuck, I'm feeling invisible, I'm feeling imposter syndrome, whatever it is for you, like just put it out there so that we can surround you and support you in that, right? You're not, you're definitely not alone in that. Okay, so the three things I would advise for you if you're in that boat of feeling invisible, but knowing that you're ready to get visible again, or maybe not quite feeling ready, but also knowing that's how you're going to make money online. Like I ask my clients all the time that are like, I don't really want to be visible. I don't really want to do Facebook lives or I don't want to do sales conversations. And I think there is a, a way where we can find like creative ways online to do things. But also what I say is like, 
Do you want to make money online? Then you'll do those things, right? In a way that feels good to you, right? And so really asking yourself, do I want to monetize online? Even if I don't have a ton of time, do I want to make money this fall? If so, I'm going to get visible. I'm going to do sales calls, whatever those actions are for you, right? And knowing that it's okay to do the thing to get to the end thing you want, right? To impact people, to make an income online. Okay, so... Number one, I want you to look at how far you've come. I know this is hard to do, especially if you're in a season that feels like a little bit like a slump or a season that where you're really beating yourself up and you're like, oh, I can't believe I stopped showing up for my Facebook group or, oh, I can't believe I stop. All I do now is scroll on Instagram. It's so easy to beat ourselves up instead of looking at how far you've come, right? I hear people all the time say, oh, I only have 200 people in my Facebook group. Well, the... <laughs> Hold on a second. They didn't just magically get there. You have 200 people in your Facebook group because you got them there, right? So take a minute right now and just ask yourself, how can I celebrate and appreciate the humans that are in my corner, number one, because I appreciate them, but also because I appreciate myself and the work I did to get them there, right? And saying thank you to the version of you that did show up at some point to get those 30 people on your email list or whatever it is, right? So really own that and even let me know in the chat box below how many people you're owning and celebrating that you were able to build your community into. So number one, looking at how far you've come, owning that and celebrating that. And you know that I'm a huge believer of showing up for the audience you have, right? Number two is being willing to risk again, in parentheses, I wrote for six weeks, right? So, so often, especially if we feel like we like hit a slump in our business, it feels like, do I really want to risk it again? Do I really want to start showing up again? Because what if Facebook isn't the right place for me to show up? Or what if my Instagram, blah, 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 right? Whatever reason, like we have all these questions, right? We don't have clarity. We don't have confidence. And I think it's so hard to be willing to risk again. But the reason why Invisible Impact and why I think in general, it's so helpful for you to see your business in six week chunks is you do need to risk and you do need to put your heart out there because that's what this is about, right? If you want a heart-centered business, it's going to feel a little bit vulnerable sometimes, right? But giving yourself a container, a safe container and saying, I'm going to go full force and try this thing and commit to this thing. I always recommend one platform, one focus area, right? Just really focusing on one thing but knowing that at the end of six weeks, you're gonna assess, right? And I feel like people go wrong in two ways. Either they feel like they have to make this decision that's eternal in their business. <laughs> like I have to make this niching decision or this sale. Like I have to decide what program I'm gonna sell. And then whatever I finally decide on, it has to be something I'm gonna sell for the next 30 years of my life, right? Either there's so much weight to, I have to pick this one social platform. Once I pick Instagram, I have to be on Instagram for the next seven years, right? We put so much pressure and gravity to these decisions, right? Or the opposite is we don't commit at all, right? But I think there's the happy medium and I really found that for most women, especially if you're not hitting six figures yet, is really committing to six weeks at a time where you make this really grounded, grounded decision, right? And you say, for six weeks, I'm focusing on this one thing, usually selling a program, right? Selling either a one-on-one -on -one offer or a group program, whatever it is. I'm going to focus for six whole weeks on this thing and getting visible in that one direction on this one social platform, right? And it seems like, oh, Anna, that should be simple, but invisible impact, we usually spend like an entire week just on that because the clarity, right? I think often like when we do all of that work for the clarity, it makes it simpler for our clients, but it is a little bit of work on the front end, making the decision, making an informed decision on which platform to show up on and which program to sell. If you have multiple programs, right? If you have multiple freebies, which one are you doing? And so, I think being willing to risk again means being willing to make a firm decision, but also knowing it's only six weeks, right? So at the end of six weeks, you're going to stop and assess. But before those six weeks are over, I do not want you second guessing yourself, right? I do not want you doing that. Okay, if this is speaking to you and you feel like, yes, and I need to put a stake in the ground and decide for the next six weeks which one social platform I'm showing up on, which one offer I'm focusing on promoting, like drop a heart in the chat box. Let me know and own that. And I feel like it's such a game changer. Okay, third tip, if you are feeling like you're spotty online, you're not consistently showing up and you're ready to go all in again, I hear from women all the time, Anna, I want to wait to go all in on my on my visibility until I have more clarity <laughs> or until I have more confidence, right? 
or even like until I have consistent clients. But the kind of mind bending thing is as you get visible vulnerably consistently, that's actually where the clarity comes. That's actually where the confidence comes. That's where the clients come from, right? And so I think sometimes it feels safer, even though it doesn't feel good to feel stuck, right? Sometimes it feels like a safer stuck than putting ourselves out there, maybe picking the wrong niche, picking the wrong platform, whatever, and then getting rejected, right? Or whatever it is. But I really want to encourage you that if it feels like, ah, I'm putting my heart out there on the interwebs, you're doing it right. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with you, right? And I think there's a lot of talk in the online space, like things should be easy. And I think things should be like definitely aligned. But I think also a lot of business is going to feel scare sighting, right? A lot of business is going to feel like you're putting your heart on the line because you are. So don't make that wrong. There's nothing wrong with you, right? However, I do think that you should get support in making that happen, right? It doesn't mean that you need to do that alone. I wrote a post today. So this week on the podcast is Ruth Ann. If you haven't checked that out yet, check it out. Her story is so so impeccably incredible. She's an amazing woman. But part of what she shares in her journey of really making it from zero to 2K to far beyond that was really having a support system and having that structure, right? And so in the post today, um, I kind of shared about that, but one of the people below, I thought it was incredible, wrote like, I need more biz friends. I need more support. I need more community. So we kind of turned it into a little coffee thread. But I want to encourage you, like if you're feeling, especially in that space of feeling like you're not visible yet, like you're feeling stuck and you're invisible, like it is such a good time to get connected and get supported, right? Because as you're posting online, as you're sharing your heart online for six weeks, you know, some posts may resonate and land. Some posts may not get any comments, right? And it's so easy for us to spiral into, oh, no one commented on my thing. Like, what's wrong with me? What's go Instead of, you know, being grounded and at the start of your business, a big part of being grounded is having support right? Having business friendships, right? Having support. Maybe it's from someone like me, Invisible Impact, where I'm saying, keep going. You've got this, right? Here's some feedback on how you can make the post better, right? But whatever it looks like for you, I really encourage you to get good, good support and friendships. Um, so I guess that's the bonus tip for you. But those, my loves, are my tips and what stands out for me if you're in that boat of thinking, I know I need to restart my visibility, but I don't quite know how and I don't quite feel ready, right? I'm gonna recap them, is look how far you've come, be willing to risk again for six weeks at a time, and then also realize that the clarity and the confidence is gonna come alongside you being visible, right? It's through that visibility, through you being willing to take that risk that you're gonna get clarity and confidence. And I can say a little bit on how to, because I guess I was a little bit vague on that. But as you're showing up with your content, right, the more you show up and when you notice that it's actually changing people's lives and people are commenting and saying like, wow, that was a great tip, I tried it and here's what happened. It's gonna give you confidence that, oh, my stuff really works, right? Like as you're doing that work, especially if you don't have a ton of paying clients right now, right? A lot of times it's through your content that you're able to remember like, oh, I actually, my stuff works. My stuff is good, right? And then the clarity comes, like as you're posting on different topics, you're really able to see what's resonating with your clients, right? Your potential clients. You're really able to see what your audience is most, what they're most um, resonating with, what they're picking up on. And so I really feel like, Clarity and confidence comes through that visibility. And then that bonus tip was really embracing support. Okay, so grab that link, join the Visible Impact wait list if you're at all interested. I'm sending that this afternoon, but just sending you guys so much love. I know as we're heading into September, right? Heading into that last stretch of the year, it can be easy to feel overwhelmed, but I really want to encourage you that this is your time right? It's not too late to hit your goals when it comes to 2020. And I think a big part of that for me as a busy mama is just realizing and trusting that like with what I've been given, with the time and the resources that I've been given, I can still make an impact, right? That might look different from someone else, but instead of like, you know, being frustrated about life, and 2020, really trusting that you have all that you need to make the impact that you were made for this fall. Okay, hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your Monday, and I will see you later this week.